Um, I went to Bed Bath & Beyond to use a gift card that I've had and I wanted to do a little bit of a haul just to show you what I got. but I kept the box so I'll show it to you it is a mixing bowl set this is like their brand of mixing bowl stuff so it's a glass mixing bowl set which I really love because just like it's this is the biggest size so they just kind of get smaller from there like a little Russian nesting egg so there's one that's like this small um kind of feels like it's like this little tiny one so I guess really cute measuring spoons too mm -hmm. for sale so this is like your these this is like your like traditional cup quarter cup these are your like teaspoons and then like they had a third one and i was like what is this third one for but like it literally says like let's see if it'll it'll focus in on it it literally says like a tad this one's a smidgen so like, you know, when recipes, like I think there's, yeah, a pinch, there's a pinch, and then there's a dash. So like literally when a recipe calls for those, <laughs> I could just use my little measuring spoon, the little, the dash and the, so I got these because I thought they were, I needed them and like it's really good quality. These are also their, um, what is it called? Their Our Table brand. All these for 20% off, which is kind of great. And then I bought this um, really nice, uh, acacia, acacia wood, um, like spoon set because I, um, have a dog who's right there. Oh, you can't see her. She's, oh, you see her little head. She's there. Her name is Dove and she likes to eat wooden spoons now. That's like a new thing for her. So, um, I had to buy some new ones. So, so this also, um, was a great buy as well. And it's again, our table. This is the brand. It's like their orange brand. I got because I like to make and I needed a new muffin pan. This is their R table muffin pan. So I bought a new one so I can have it. Um, I also make my little egg bites in them. So like I feel like I'll probably do some egg bites too and put them in that pan. It's a nice like thick cake pan too. It's non-stick. So again, our table. I bought everything from our table because like usually the the brands like own in store brand is usually like premium quality so I can tell this is like a really good I got this silicone baking mat because I bake cookies for like my coworkers and stuff and just for fun and I use a lot of like um like parchment paper but you can actually um instead of parchment paper you can just use the silicone mat so it says like in lieu of parchment paper um I'm gonna put everything away and if you want to put things away with me keep watching because I needed some things for work because I've been trying to do this thing where I actually cook instead of just buy things out. So I got some orange juice because I like to start my day with orange juice sometimes. I like to dilute it with water because it has a lot of sugar in it. So um, that's what I do. I got these croissants because I actually really enjoy taking croissants into work because I use them for sandwiches. So I'll just like make a sandwich in the morning, put them in a bag and get ready for the day. So it's kind of easy. Just makes life simpler, you know, and cheaper because literally, like, I and my coworkers love to order things, but we really don't need to. <laughs> but we say, like, oh, we're gonna, like, you know, make stuff and bring it home. We don't, we never do. So, this is what we're doing. Um, I bought some turkey bacon. This is um, their uncured turkey bacon, which I really like because it's nice and thick. So, I use turkey bacon. I don't really eat pork. Um, I don't cook pork. I don't like to cook meat, really. So, also, here's the million dollar eggs. Just kidding, they're just, they were like $5, which is like expensive, but yeah, just 12. Hmm. They're like $6 at Walmart, so. 
I don't really need them at this moment, but I like to cook a lot with eggs and bake, so I thought I would like just get some in case like there's a shortage one day. I have some. Um, I really love Amy's. So these are my like go-to, like just really quick things, my Amy's bowls. I just get the mac and cheese. So when I'm like really kind of feeling lazy, I'll just buy these and make them for dinner or take them for lunch, which is the plan, because I have I was like, okay, I have four croissants, and then I have, like, one of these meals I can bring for lunch. So I have lunch every day this week, which is exactly what I needed. I always like to keep pizza on hand, and Walmart has, like, these, like, flatbread pizzas. So I just, like, thought I would just get them. And, you know, greens, salads. So I'm probably tonight going to make one of these pizzas with the salad that I got um, and call it a day because it's Sunday. All I want to do is rest and watch a good movie, so that's the plan. So yeah. Um, what else? I don't really do vlogs, but here we are doing a vlog just because, um, I thought, why not? Why not try something different and something fun? And I know my battery's gonna die in my camera, so I had to plug that in. Um, but yeah, so this week um, has been, well, the week was good. I actually yesterday went to, like I said, I work at a school, and I work at a middle school, and um, I'm the social worker at the school, so if you didn't know that, now you do. Um, definitely can share a little bit more about my social work journey, because sometimes people are like, what? What does a school, a school social worker do? Which is a great question. And one that I get a lot, um, even from my coworkers. <laughs> so there's that. But yeah, I'm a school social worker, so I'm always at the school every day. Thankfully, luckily, I have one school, um, you know, that I work with because a lot of the times, you know, school districts won't always prioritize social workers. So then there'll be only like one social worker, sometimes for the whole district, depending on what size the district is, but sometimes, um, you know, even just within the district, they might have multiple schools. So I'm very blessed and very lucky to work with one school um, and only have that one school because, um, you know, my district prioritizes social workers and mental health professionals, and I'm very grateful for them. Uh, yesterday, so our school has, um, like some amazing sports teams. Our kids are so talented. Um, and we had our, what did we have? Our kids had their tournament. So our boys basketball team and the girls basketball team had their you know, tournament to see who's gonna make it to the championships. I honestly don't really know a lot about sports, but um, I enjoy pretending like I do. <laughs> Actually, I've been learning more, to be honest, which has been really cool. And just like watching, you know, like the kids and learning from my coworkers who also go to the games and stuff. So I've been learning a lot about sports and I actually really enjoy them. So that's been really fun to discover. Um, so I went to like two games yesterday because one thing that is cool about being a social worker and um, at one school specifically is that I do get to know I get to know our kids. I get to know them by name, kind of like, you know, what they're like, what <laughs> they're very funny. We have a lot of funny kids. Um, and also just like talented, like, and really smart. So I love, um, you know, watching them grow up. Actually, it's funny because I was telling my coworkers that this is my third year in school social work. And um, I actually came into uh, this like district and the school literally 2020. So I um, came in virtually and we were virtual for probably half a year. Then we went in um, person and um, I was able to kind of like, I supervised a classroom. So I was able to really get a feel for some of the kids and like learn who they are. And this is their actual last year at the school, the kids that I, you know, got to know. And um, I got to know them for like probably five months and then now they're eighth graders so i got them when they were in sixth grade and they came in person and now they are about to graduate on to high school um or i guess it's moving on not graduating my coworker likes to say it's a moving on ceremony not a graduation so um it's kind of cool like that part i think i really love about my job is being able to see them 
grow literally like some of them I was like you used to be like this and now you're literally so tall so that's been you know I mean just seeing them grow literally but also just in who they are and getting to know them so that's been really cool and it's not always possible because my school is pretty transient like we have kids who they move a lot and stuff so when I get the chance to know them and they continue on it's always it's always just a really cool thing so yeah um so yesterday went to our our game our middle school game for the boys because I um, do ticketing for our school so when we have home games I'll do ticketing and um, I we won we won by like I think at least 20 points which is amazing so they get to go on and do another um, game with another middle school on Thursday and then if they win that one they get to go on to the championships I think on Saturday so we're really hoping that that is what happens after that game I went with my coworker um, to the high school uh, freshman like the freshman ninth grade team um, and what I love is that last year the kids who at the high school were eighth graders and now they're ninth graders and literally they're so tall and <laughs> they also won their game which is kind of amazing um, and it's just like again one of those like that's like the first because I feel like it, education can be really really hard um, no matter what role you're in because there's a lot of things that are not set up that don't set up our kids for success in education unfortunately okay all right so I think I ended talking about my job yesterday so I'm just going to make a little conclusion to that video um, it's the next day if you couldn't tell it's very sunny out my dog wants me to play with her and yeah so basically just saying how amazing like my job can be there are definitely some positives to the role because I do get to see the kids grow up and do their own thing and like just you know be successful especially in education I feel like there is it's a lot and it can be heavier than people might think um, which is why unfortunately there's a lot of people leaving the profession um, and going to other careers so all I have to say is that I really actually do love my job and it does afford me to you know certain things that I've had a lot of opportunities that I wouldn't have gotten if I hadn't had my job. The kids like mature and grow and succeed and do different things has been really cool. Thank you for watching if you stuck around um, for my little Bed Bath & Body Works haul which if you didn't know Bed Bath & Body Works is um, they're actually experiencing bankruptcy so if you if you do like to shop there I'm sorry one but two they are doing like 20% off most of their stores like the one near me um, was doing 20% off all of their items so I literally got everything discounted if you go to Bed Bath & Beyond I think they're having their sales mostly in store because they're getting rid of all their stock so I would definitely recommend you go check them out and let me know what you find if you enjoyed this video please feel free to like comment and subscribe i am starting a new thing again find me on instagram at olean o-h-l-e-i-g-h-a-n-n -N. you can find me on um instagram twitter and pinterest um using that name my website is oitsleanne.com so check it out i have a few posts that are now live I talk a lot about mental health, just my own life stuff, and other just like things around Atlanta that you might want to check out. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll talk with you soon. Bye!